the only industry right now that is always hiring in Canada, like they don't close their job portal, is the trade industry. There are a lot of opportunity and jobs in trade industry. And uh, today I am going to introduce a certification for anyone watching this video. Maybe you're in Canada and you know you what you're doing right now is not okay. You just you want to go into the trade you know industry the trade line the blue collar jobs and you you don't have the skill like you're not a technician back home you don't have the certification and it's not that easy to start from apprentice and you know start working your way up and everything you don't even know where to you know start from then i have a route for you and the thing is that the catch in this route is that you have to be physically fit male female and you have to be ready to do it. It's a career. And I believe some of us right now, this will be the first time of hearing the name. I'm into a trade. I'm in a trade line. I'm a technician here in Canada. And as a technician here, uh, I understand something that in trade right here in this country, there are different, different, different branches. See, as an heavy duty technician, you will get to a stage whereby after fixing an equipment, you 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 cannot just mark that equipment as completed. You have to call some people to come and calibrate the equipment for you. Like, you know, back home in Nigeria, you know, the same mechanic will be the one to do this and that. But here, you have to call some people to come and calibrate. You have to call people to come and do, you know, the 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 uh, the NDT, you know, and some other 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 stuff. So now just before the equipment can, you know, be marked as, or before the products can be marked as completed. So now, uh, this skill I'm, I'm about to introduce is, is a career. It, it has levels by levels and you can start from level one. So it's, it's a recognized, worldwide recognized skills. And this will be the first time some of you will hear the name. It is Irata. So the name is Irata Rope Technician. So most of the time they call them Rope Technician. Right now, uh, where I work, so we, we have a shutdown, like they're shutting down some sectors. Just to, when we call it, we call it shutdown because um, it, the, some of the equipment we use and everything has to be repaired, you know, just to see if there's any damages, you know, cracks and everything. And, you know, a lot of Irata guys around, you know, doing their work. Their work is just to set rope. You know, uh, there are so many high, tall buildings around and around this, you know, all over Canada. And it will get to a stage in construction. It will get to a stage in industrial uh, maybe machineries whereby you need to you know do a rope setting those guys are in charge of that so what they only do is just to set rope i'm going to do some videos so that the technicians will be able to work on that rope and it starts from level one so it's level one uh, certification after doing you can get your level one training at level one certification within max three months and all over canada not only canada it is worldwide even if you're watching me from nigeria you're watching me from any i don't know where you're watching me i even forgot to introduce myself my name is taiwan and welcome to my youtube channel if this is your first time watching my video don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button i'm a technician here in canada and most of the time i do you know i talk more about you know the, the soft life so in this wonderful country called Canada, if you love my video, you you know you love this kind of a content, don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And right there at my back, that's my daughter Ramat. Smile, Ramat, say hi. <laughs> so uh, today let's talk about Irata. You know, Irata, these are rope, rope technician, and their job is just to you know uh, set you know uh, a rope. So where those technician, where the 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 foreman, you know, people working will be able to have access through those rope. They'll be able to climb. They'll be able to you know do their jobs. So, so now their job is just to make the environment a safer place because if you want to check some things up or you want to monitor some you know some things or you want to do some NDTs on some equipment uh you you cannot have access to that spot without a rope a safety rope you know towel 
around your body and the work you can you like as a technician you don't you don't know anything about rope now so now you need an errata you know um a technician to be able to do those assets to do those settings for you you they know how to you know to turn one rope one tiny rope to uh thick one you know it's their job like they went to school for it and you can get the certification within just three months in level one certification now let me talk about this uh what what is the job you know situation you after getting this education i can get i can guarantee you that after having the rata certification there you have 95 percent assurance that you get a job within the first month because these are things i mean there are some there are some skills in canada whereby people don't really know about them but it pays well and they are looking for people and this is one of them. They are on, on common skills. Like you, you hardly you even if someone tells you that okay, I'm an rata technician, you'll be like, what do you do? So because uh people don't know them, but it is within this trade industry. You you they are very, very important when it comes to some stages. You, you can work in construction, in government agency, you know, in oil and gas format, please. So in oil and gas, in everywhere they are highly needed, like in trade, they are they are you know they they, they you have to give them their regards, and they are there is ninety five percent assurance that you get a job as soon as you have this education. Now after getting this education, uh the the next thing is level two. They have level one, level two, level three. You know you can become a project coordinator, supervisor, foreman. You no, know, there are so many branches there because i saw them and i was like i'm i saw their supervisor their coordinator their you know they i was like this is a career it's not just okay let me just have it and no it's a career and even if you go to google and just type the minimum pay for an writer you know a technician you see there you know just for level one alone you'll be earning from 65 to 75 depending on uh you know uh your car you, the the, uh, the company you're working for so the agency you're working for you know if it's construction if it's oil and gas for oil and gas they really pay them good so now because they are highly they are needed every time and uh the the minimum just for uh, level one alone at least the, the pay start from, from from 30 and above so depending on the industry you're working and your province so that is just it and the level two from 40 45 and above level three and different 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 uh you know uh sectors in rata technicians so it all depends on any uh, experience after getting getting your level one you can go for your level two within a year you know to go for your level three and and all that so uh this would be my advice for you if you want to go about it it's it uh it's it's something that required you know physical demanding you know you just have to be uh physical fit and you know just be able to do the work but it's not that hard when they say physically fit and i believe some work that most of us do in this country is 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 even is not just physically fit like is mentally drained like after you get home weak you know mentally drained nothing to do you just go to bed and sleep and wake up the next day continue and everything but the thing is that they just want you to be physically fit and you it's not that hard of a job you know i see them and i'll be like this is something that i, I can advise anybody to do you know this some this is a career it's a pathway that you know i, I will advise if you want to change your job if you want to you need something that a career not just okay i just want to go there work and come back in the evening you know you don't even have a future there's no even where you're going and everything you can start from here anywhere you are in canada just search for irata training school you know they have a training center everywhere in the country like any province anywhere i don't know where you're watching me from and not just in canada alone even in nigeria anywhere they have their training center 
everywhere around the world and because it's a recognized certification and you can even do the training in nigeria come to canada and use your certification to look for a job you don't need any special thing the certification is recognized everywhere so they will just ask for your certification id number put it on their website and it will validate that you you are certified and that's just it because this the the, the, the it's the industry the irata technician is one technician whereby they are needed everywhere around the world so but right here i mean i'm in alberta so we have lots of them right here in alberta so and not just alberta alone in every province around canada so you can just give it a try if you want to go about it just go to just go to google and type in irata you know training school and you see the school in your location in your province you know in your environment just go there give them a call start from there i don't know the how much they charge but you can start because each school has their own prices and all that but start from there and you know we all have to start from the bottom this country the degree and everything you are bringing from i don't know your country and everything doesn't care you know they don't so even there are some jobs that they will not even ask for your degree but what really counts is your certification like you see if you're in canada you, you understand that they care most about certification this 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 give us a, especially recognize certification something that they can be like oh yeah this person is truly that person they really valid you see they 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 they, they love certification in this country ramat what what so they love certification in this country and you can start from here so you can start from you know just start from level one and climb your way to the top and uh, this will be the end of my video and uh, if you have any question or anything don't forget to click on the like and the subscribe button and drop your comment if you have anything to ask me i'll definitely reply to your question or comment and i'll see you on the next one my name is Ty. take care